here I am back on this channel. Maybe I'll stay. Maybe I'll upload every like week or two. Okay, I promise I won't leave you for eight months again. So, you know, you can hit that subscribe, hit that like, and maybe just maybe I'll keep uploading stuff on here. Because I really like doing these videos, even though I wasted a lot of money on it and it's still sitting in my closet. And then I read a comment saying, I like watching people waste their money. I'm like, oh my god, me too. I love watching videos where YouTubers spend their money. I mean, y'all call it waste, but. And then somebody replied to that comment saying they just return it anyway. Let me tell you something. I have this really bad habit of never returning anything I buy. It could be the wrong size. It could be $10. It could be $500. I will not return anything. I don't know what it is. It will sit in my trunk. It'll sit in my car. I'm not even kidding. For months or years. I'm an adult, so time... It like goes by hella quick now. And before you know it, that bathing suit that I meant to return back in last March is still in my car. I haven't returned it. And I'm pretty sure I can't return it now. So it's like, what do I do with it? And then I just end up giving it away. Like anybody that comes to my house, I'm just like, here, here's some stuff that I bought that I didn't like and will not return. Here you go. It's just a really bad habit. I used to return things all the time. I don't know what it is. I hate walking into a store, like returning something. I know it sounds so stupid, but I have so many things in my car that I need to return. But anyways, today, we are here. We are going to go to Gucci.com. Oh, I know. Bougie is First Fashion Nova, we're gonna jump right into Gucci. Now, I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for my main channel. So today, I wanted to do buying the cheapest bag from Gucci. I watched a lot of these videos buying the cheapest thing, and it's always like socks or perfume. Like, no shit, the cheapest thing from a designer is gonna be a perfume that's usually under $100. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's very boring to watch. Maybe because I know it's always gonna be a perfume or like a pair of socks, I feel like that's boring. So I wanted to do the cheapest bag that Gucci has. Not like a makeup pouch, not like a cosmetics bag, but like the cheapest bag they have. And no, I'm not gonna return it. That defeats the whole purpose of this. Maybe if I do like buying the most expensive thing from Gucci, which I kind of want to see what it is now. What is the most expensive thing? Okay, this is a trick that you can do. I figured this out by myself. So you go to the search, you do Gucci, and it'll show you everything they have. So we're gonna go by price, High to low. Oh, what is this? A panel? Something Jeffree Star would have. Only Jeffree Star would buy this. 32,000 for like a panel that you change behind. And this tufted pink is beautiful. It's made to order too. So you get a custom Gucci panel. Oh damn, you gonna have to wait 14 to 15 weeks for this to arrive. So this is the most expensive thing that Gucci has, 32,000. Which I thought it would be more than that because I think Chanel has bags that are like 30,000. But you get a whole damn panel. And then you got some Gucci Flora earrings. Let's see the most expensive bag first. It's looking like this one, 7,800. I, I, for ostrich. Damn, this is gonna damn ostrich for this. Now we are going to go to bags. Let's see all them bags. We're gonna do low to high because we don't got that kind of budget for this channel. So we can't do most expensive. I can't afford $32,000 pink tufted panels for my house. Okay, maybe if I was Trisha and my house was like all pink and shit, I would consider it. But I'm pretty sure you can't return that. <laughs> Gucci probably be watching my video like, mm, this bitch really spent 32,000 and they're gonna return it just for a YouTube video? Like, nah. You you can't do that. We're gonna call the FBI on your ass. This is fraud. So we got these little bags here. This is $780, $790. Okay, I think this one is probably the cheapest. I know they have men's bags too. We're gonna check that just in case. All right, let's see if men's bags, cause they don't have them under female. So it's like a whole bunch of other bags. Oh my God, this is so cute. What the? I want my mans to wear this. Anybody that wears this, I'ma make them my mans. Imagine if your mans wore this. You could put like all your shit in there. He could hold all your shit. You don't have to have a bag. I love going out with no bag. This is cute. I love it. I love everything. I feel like the guy, what the fuck is this? I actually saw this in the store. It is literally a bucket. A damn bucket that you put your dirty laundry in. A rubber laundry thing. A tote. Almost a thousand dollars for a rubber tote that say Gucci on it. You get this from the dollar store. Like put your laundry in it, carry it to the laundry room. Oh my God, this is so cute. See, I'm telling you, like the guy shit is actually hella cute. I feel like with a lot of designers, with like Fendi and Gucci, like the boy stuff, you gotta look at it. You can't just look at the girl stuff because the guys have like hella cute shit too. All right, but no, we are not looking for cute. We're not looking for newest. We are looking for low to high. 
We got these. Oh, these are toiletry cases. I said no toiletry cases. We ain't doing that. We got this cute little, oh, a belt bag. It says bag. I'll open that up. This is, this is 650. It was the other one. This one is 780. So this is more expensive. So this one is, I think this is the cheapest bag they have. And this is hella cute. Oh my god, I love this actually. Okay, these ones are $700. This is really nice too, for $700. And you get this little fanny pack. You get a fling bag. If y'all trying to save some money, look at the guys' bags. Cause they're just as cute as the girls' ones, but a little cheaper. All right, so I think it's gonna be this one. It only comes in one print, which is the Gucci print. The monogram, it zips up. Oh, this is actually very, very nice because I am a big, big, big fan of fanny packs. Does it have a, oh my God, it's got the buckle clothes. I love the buckle clothes. See, I really like these ones. They're like the belt bag. You wear it like this, except it buckles. Like it has, it's like an actual belt buckle. So, you know, every time you go to the bathroom, every time you're taking it off, you have to like undo it like a belt, which is really annoying. I don't like that. But this one, this one's perfect. Like all you have to do is buckle it back in place. This seems like amazing I just hope it fits my waist because that's my problem with a lot of these like they don't fit my waist Is there more pictures of it? Anybody wearing it? I have no idea how big this is. Okay nine inches like my man's <laughs> So I actually really like this and I'm gonna spend 650 I mean, I feel like that's pretty good for a Gucci bag considering like the other ones are all over a thousand dollars. This is actually a really nice bag. It's very low key. It's not like huge GG print all over. I know it's like monogram, but it's like hopefully it's small and cute. So I'm gonna add it to shopping cart. Pay with PayPal. This is the part where you don't get to see. Well, how do we know you're actually buying it? You don't. Okay, I'm currently checking out. I love when you buy stuff online and it lets you go directly through PayPal. I hate typing out everything. Okay, that's the right address, right? Yes. Make sure I get it and not somebody else. <laughs> I've never bought anything from Gucci online before, so I'm like excited. Is this my first Gucci bag? I don't think I have a Gucci bag. Well, I have like a little wallet thing, but I don't have a Gucci bag. All right, here we go. Place that order. Now we wait. One week later. So it has been exactly one week. I got my package in the mail. I was gonna open it in the box, but I thought it was another package and I opened it and I'm like, oops. That's for the video. So I've been waiting all damn day to be able to open this. And it's actually very light. It's a very big box, but it's very lightweight. And they actually sent me a huge folded up Gucci shopping bag with it. So it's like, if you don't buy it from the store, they'll still send you a bag sometimes. Mmm, smells like a waste of money. Just kidding. Okay, so I am really excited to open this very cute little bow. I'm gonna open it. Now I also have a Gucci headband. Lil Tay here, youngest flexa of the century. Out oh, today, we booling in the trap house, doing some gang shit. Or you know what, like, it can also be a choker. Choke me, daddy! But in Gucci. All right, so let's lift this open. Oh, it opens like this, fancy. And they have it all wrapped up in here in tissue paper and a Gucci sticker. You're gonna have to open. Ugh! Just kidding, it's just tissue paper. The actual bag is this little thing right here. Gucci, was this really necessary? You know, the environment and everything. Like, you guys sent me this big ass box for this small ass package, Amazon. All right, so this beautiful little satin dust bag. And we're gonna open it up. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to wear it. It is so little. I actually love this. This is like the perfect size fanny pack. This is the kind of material that doesn't really get dirty either. It's the monogram and they tape this. I will be the first one to touch these handles since they were made. I always used to remember that they said fake bags had this on them, but not nah, this legit from the Gucci store. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Ooh, it has a hidden pocket on the back. So you can stash your drugs or little dentist sticks for your dogs. See, let's open this side, the front compartment. I really like this. This has got everything I ever wanted in a fanny pack. Let's rip the tag off so y'all don't think I returned this off. 
On the front of it, we got a little owner's manual in every single language imaginable. But where is English? Gucci products are manufactured by experienced Italian artisans with carefully selected materials of the highest quality. Gucci guarantees both internally and along its supply chain and the internationally recognized standards of social and environmental responsibility. Environmental responsibility. Gucci, what are you doing with this big ass box and all this excess paper? You very environmentally responsible. Psych. Okay, I just really want to try this on. I love it. Let me make it longer. Ugh. Damn, they're gonna make you have to work for this. I mean, I just wanna be bullin' in the trap house. I just wanna be able to wear this like little tay. Man, it's too short. I mean, I can make it longer, but it's a real hassle. So like, they wear it like this. So you know, you got the money right here. Anytime you gotta pay, you pretend to take out your card and then look at your boyfriend and then he pays. So you don't ever have to pay. Okay, I actually hate this. I don't like wearing a fanny pack like this. Defeats the purpose of a fanny pack. I like it on my waist. Thank you very much. I'm gonna adjust this back to its original setting, which is much harder than it looks. I really hate these, like adjusting them. Like I adjust it once and then that's it. You never have to adjust it again. Okay. This is super duper easy. You just buckle it up. Oh, I love this. This is love at first buckle. It's just so nice. Like this is the cheapest bag that Gucci has. And I feel like nobody has this one. Such an underrated bag. I actually love this. This is just so casual for like running errands and doing anything. You can wear it with anything. I love me a casual bag. It's perfect. And then you got that hidden pocket over here that only you can check. Ain't nobody gonna check this pocket ever. And then you just... You go to a concert security, you ask what's in the bag. And then you show them here, you show them there, boom. Hide your contraband in here. I mean, that's you guys, that ain't me. I ain't about that drug life. This is great, 10 out of 10. I should probably use it before giving it a rating, but I am loving this. It's so good. Now I can go to Target in style. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the face. Oops, wrong channel. Comment below and let me know what I should buy next. The cheapest, the most expensive, from where? And yeah, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want more videos. And I'll see you next time.